Bread and Connecticut. You know, that was cute. John, let's do another Christmas classic. Yeah, which one should we do? White Christmas? All right, go ahead, hit it. Hey, it's White Christmas. Hey, it's White Christmas. Look it, it's a White Christmas. Our next show stars as Whitney Houston's sassy mom and the preacher's wife. Take a look. You pull yourself together, young lady. You a married woman. Oh, Ma. I can look in the window. Even if I don't buy. Yeah, well, you just better not go window shopping with money in your pocket. And you better not be putting anything in the layaway plan, either. You hear me? Oh, Ma. Please welcome Jenna Manoa! Wait, before we do anything, uh -huh. I've got to tell you what? How proud I am of you. Thank you, Jennifer. Is this a big star? Thank you, Jennifer. Thank people, you people rush home to watch you so they can feel good. Well, you know, I do my best, Jen. We love you. A girl's got to work, right? We love you, baby. Do you know the, how I met Bette Midler? <laughs> Jennifer Lewis introduced me to Bette Midler. Remember that? Yeah, big limousine. First time we, we ever met, there was a show on called Third Degree with Burt Convey. They had two people there, and then the celebrities had to guess what the people did for a living. Do you remember this? Yes. I'm one of the celebrities with, like, the third girl from Petticoat Junction or something. <laughs> it wasn't a hit show. And Jennifer and Char Lowe were sitting there trying to pretend you were accountants. That's right. Oh, my God. That's right. And I had to disqualify myself because I knew they were harlots because I had seen them on stage like 45 times. I mean, there we were with these voices, these big voices pretending to be something else other than singers. Right. You were so cute. And I was like, I know who they are. I totally know who they are. <laughs> and I had to disqualify myself. <laughs> but you, you are doing so great. The Preacher's Wife. Fabulous movie, oh, Jennifer. Oh, it's so much fun. And you were doing so good in it. Could you understand Penny during the shooting? Never, never. She took Here's Penny. She's, Jennifer, I want you and Whitney to come over here and go out and get Denzel and Jennifer. I never understood a word she said. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going. She said, I want you in the bank. <laughs> but she is the brightest she is. female director we have right now. She's got it going She's on. wonderful. She and Nora Ephron both. Two <laughs> okay. smart, sassy okay. women. Okay. That's right. Now, Penny told me on the phone, I go, did you have a good time shooting the movie? She go, I did, but Jennifer, very big diva. <laughs> Are you a big diva? I was not a diva. Now, you know I did the show called The Diva is Dismissed. Mm -hmm. And the, the definition for the diva, a diva is someone who pretends to know who they are and looks fabulous doing it. <laughs> now, they are usually rich, famous, and disgusting. <laughs> I was a poor diva. <laughs> but sometimes that's the richest kind. <laughs> sometimes. You were one of the many divas <laughs> on that show, were you not? Oh, so many divas, so little time. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a ball. We had a ball shooting that film. You had a great time. Yeah. You ever go back home, Missouri? How'd your family feel oh, about Oh, St. Louis, honey. Yeah, you know, I'm from a, yeah, Hey, all right. St. Louis, Louis. I'm from that little small town called Kinlock. How fabulous is that? I've got a great family. They're my greatest supporters. I was coming in from London. I had a two-hour lay layover at, uh, what's the airport called? Lambert Field. And there were 20 people there in a marching band. To greet you. They're all fabulous, with little gifts. They, they're, they're so wonderful. And they think you're a big star there? Yeah, they're like my family's proud of me, and Are I you, love them. Maybe you told me one person from high school a few years back, you went and you told me you were an oh, actor, God. and he stopped. What did he yeah, say? Yeah, he Remember goes, this? Jennifer, you said you was going to be a big star. We ain't synced you in nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then as a snooky, she goes, uh, she says, Jennifer, I'm sure some cute boots you got on. How much money you got, Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> and your grandma, how's Grandma Small? Grandma Small is doing fine. You know, she, you know, she gave birth to 16 children. Wow. They're all alive and healthy. Hello, everybody. And, um... Very proud of you. Yeah, I wrote a song. 
That was in the Divas Dismiss called Grandma Small. I love my grandma. It's a great show. I hope yeah. that you do it again here. Yeah, in New York. I will. I think I, everybody's asking, so I think I'm going to do it again. Yeah, you definitely yeah. should. Yeah. We were um, in Laguna Beach, <laughs> and uh, we were surfing in the boogie board, <laughs> and you looked around and said to me, "There were no white people, no black people in the water." No black people in the water. So uh, Mark Shaman, who's going to play for me later, I think, I hope. Yeah. He says. Uh, yeah, there, there was a black person here yesterday. I said, yeah, but there are none here now. <laughs> so we wrote this song. Go, Rosie, you know it. <laughs> okay, this is what we were singing that weekend. Hey, white, white folks, folks, I'm sorry. I could not get here sooner. I'm the only black girl in Laguna. <laughs> From the preacher's wife, Jennifer. I know you're very involved in the Big Sister program. How's Charmaine? You love Charmaine, sister? my little sister. She's great. And Christmas, I'm gonna spend with her and her family. Well, good. That's a great. And thing. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And all you big sisters out there, get a little sister now. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a wonderful program. Yeah. Big brother, big sister. It's the best thing I've done with my life, really. Yeah. Well, one day you'll be a mom. I know the way you're with my son. Uh, I know. I love Parker. He's a cutie. I'm gonna get a little stinky. I don't know if I'm gonna have one or adopt one. <laughs> But we'll see. A little stinky. I want a little stinky. All right. <laughs> now, Jennifer, every movie I see you in, you're playing like Angela Bassett's Tina Turner's mother and What's Love Got to Do With It. You and Angela the same age. Whitney Houston's mother in this movie. You and Whitney the same age. What is up with that? Well, Rosie, I think it has something to do with my heritage. Now, I wrote a little song about it. You want to hear it? Here it goes. Take it away, Jennifer Lewis. Woo! Lena Horn and Eartha Kitt. Well, they've been around for ages, but their looks just won't quit. Now, when some other girls get older, their skin gets creased and lined. But because of my race, just look at my face. It's as soft as a baby's behind. Because black don't crack. I'm saying black don't crack. Now, they know I'm 30-something, but what? Now it's nice that I am working the way every actor hopes. Yes, I like the loose. Oh, the money's cute, but my love life's on the ropes. Cause if a man that I am dating sees me playing Whitney's mom, 